Graph polynomial functions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand the basic concepts of graphing polynomial functions when given in standard form. So we have a function here f of x equals to x cube plus x square minus 4x minus 4. Let us see the steps involved in graphing this kind of a function. First step of course is you have to factor, right? So first step is factor. To factor, you may require polynomial division, right? So that is the first step. Second is analyze for x-intercepts. So once you factor, you know x-intercepts. Whenever you find your zeros, that is x-intercepts will give you zeros, right? Find multiplicity. or order of each zero. So if the zeros are linear, the graph will cross like a line. If the zeros are even, then they'll go like a parabola, right? And then you should also find y-intercept. That is probably the easiest part. Y-intercept is when x is zero. So find the value of the function at x equals to zero, right? So these are important things to start with and last and the most important is end behavior. End behavior is determined by the leading coefficient, right? So these are the steps which will follow and sketch our graph, correct? So let's start with factoring first since that is time consuming and we really don't know what the factors could be. Now to find factors of any polynomial, we are looking for factors of the constant term minus 4. Now that gives us the possible values to try. Now factors of minus 4 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and plus minus 4. So these are 8 values to try. Let's begin with the very first one, right? At times you may have to try all of them to get one of them kind of okay but let's try with the very first one and we have f of 1 so plus 1 I'm trying so if I write f of 1 here 1 cube is 1 plus 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 and minus 4 is minus 4 right so what do I get I get 1 plus 1 as 2 and these are minus 8 so I'll end up with minus 6 so 1 doesn't work for me how about minus 1? f of minus 1 is, this will be minus 1, this will be plus 1, this will give me plus 4, and we have minus 4. It gives me 0. So lucky to get in the second trial. So what we have is that at minus 1, we have a 0. Okay. So now we can do long division and find out the other factors. Right. So we'll adopt long division you can also do synthetic division at this stage to get the answer, right? So we'll perform long division as most of you are conversant with it. Minus 4x minus 4. Since we have a factor at minus 1, we are going to divide by x plus 1. Okay, x plus 1. If I put minus 1, I get a 0 here, right? That is how this factor becomes 0. Now we need to multiply by x squared. So we get x cubed plus x square. Okay, fortunately is 0. So let's bring down both these terms, minus 4x minus 4. Hmm. So if you get both the terms 0, you have to bring both the terms, right? If 1 was 0, which normally will be, you just bring one of them. So now we just multiply by minus 4. And we get minus 4x minus 4, which is 0. So we get x square minus 4 as the second factor. So we can write our function f of x as equal to x plus 1 times x square minus 4. Now x square minus 4 is x plus 2 times x minus. It's difference of squares, right? So we can write this as x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we get these three linear factors. Now we are in a position to sketch our graph, correct? So let's sketch it. Okay, so let's begin with 
So we already have our function. So let me write the function once again here. f of x is equals to x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. So here, what are the x-intercepts? x-intercepts are at x equals to minus 1, minus 2, and plus 2. Now, what is their multiplicity or order, right? Multiplicity is linear, right? So it's 1 here, 1 here, and 1 here. That means it'll cross the graph at x-axis like a straight line. Now let me find y-intercept. So y-intercept is f of 0, right? So if I plug in 0 here, I get 1 times 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. When the equation is given in standard form, the constant is your y-intercept, right? So we get y-intercept. Now we'll explore the n-behavior, okay? So n-behavior. N behavior is decided because of the leading term. So what is the leading term? X cube. So X cube is odd, right? Cube, right? Odd. And positive leading coefficient, right? Since we are talking about X cube, right? That is positive and odd. Now what does that mean? Okay. It's Close to sketching, so let me sketch and show you right there on the graph itself. So when we say that odd, odd means opposite ends, positive means right side up, right? So the function has to go right side up. That's how the graph should be. Opposite means it has to start from quadrant 3. So that is the end behavior. As x approaches negative infinity, as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity and as x approaches positive infinity y approaches positive infinity for this function so that is the end behavior okay now let's put down our x and y intercepts x intercepts are at minus 1 minus 2 and plus 2 let us say this is uh, minus 1 then this will be minus 2 and let us say this is plus 2 for us okay let's connect the points and we know y intercept is negative somewhere down, it makes sense. Since their multiplicity is 1, we have to cross like a straight line. Do you see that? Kind of like this, correct? So we can now connect. So we can say, well, let me just go connect this, and let me connect this, and let me connect this, and draw my graph. And in this case, let me go like this. So that becomes our function. It's a good idea, and it is necessary. Two label so we have minus 2 minus 1 2 and this y intercept is minus 4 for us and that is x and this is f of x that is how you graph a polynomial that's so simple right always ensure that the graph is a smooth curve label critical points which you have already found and that's how it should be right Go through this video, understand all the steps, and then move on and draw as many polynomials as we get. Thank you and all the best.